Summer is a great time to stroll through the landscape and enjoy the wide variety of plant material, the different flowers and bloom, and the different plant textures. What I'd like to do today is showcase some of the pests that you may run into around your landscape. This is a red oak grown by many folks in Pennsylvania for its shade characteristics, but also for its nut crop, serving as a food source for a lot of wildlife out there. One of the things you'll see on a lot of red oaks are the oak apple galls. This is a round structure that is part of the leaf. This is caused by a parasitic wasp, which lays its eggs on newly emerging leaves. There is an interaction between plant hormones and a chemical secreted by the wasp that creates this gall on the newly emerging leaf. Within the gall is a tiny wasp which will emerge in midsummer and continue its life cycle. This next pest that we're going to look at is the spindle leaf gall on cherry. And this is caused by a tiny aerified mite that resides in the leaf buds during the winter and emerges as the leaves emerge. They attach themselves to the underside of the leaf and start the feeding process. In response, the leaf creates these galls that envelope the aerified mite. In most instances, you get uh, a couple spindles appear on the leaf. And in some serious cases, you get a very deformed leaf. In any instance, there is very little effect to the health of the tree, and it will grow normally as the season progresses. The next pest we're going to look at, you may be familiar with, and it is the eastern tent caterpillar. You'll see this in the spring with these tent-like structures built into the crotch angles of trees, such as apples, crab apples, and cherries. This caterpillar will use these tent tents to escape harsh weather and predation, and will feed normally in the tree canopy. In June, these caterpillars will pupate. What will emerge will be an adult moth, and she lays these eggs on the extremities of the branches in a case-like structure. Now, there are pesticides labeled to control this insect, but one of the best things you can do if you find an egg case in your landscape is simply cut off the egg case with the branch and simply eliminate it. If you've ever walked through the landscape and noticed that there are flies, ants, or bees attracted to a particular plant for no apparent reason, you may have a plant that is infested with plant-sucking insects. This is tulip tree scale on a tulip poplar. The scale inserts its mouth parts into the woody tissue and extracts the plant nutrients. Some of this material is excreted in the form of honeydew, and this is what attracts the flies, ants, and bees. Now this is usually not a problem, but on very young trees it can kill the tree and pesticide action may be needed. When you encounter insect pests in the landscape, some of them may be detrimental, while others are just aesthetically displeasing, and it is best to know which is which. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.